Hello guys, my name is Miguel Sepero. I am the creator of the Voxel Farm engine. Today I have a quite interesting update for you guys. As you can see, there is a split screen in the video. And this is because there is one player on the top section and a different player on the bottom section. This is actually the first time I'm showing any kind of multiplayer environment. These two players are roughly in the same spot. As they look around, you would see these are the same trees, the same terrain features. And they can actually see each other. Those odd green sticks you see on screen, they're actually placeholders for where the player's avatars should appear. The green sticks are not uh, that nice. Probably I should have added googly eyes or something like that, but in this case you will have to use your imagination. As you can see, they not only represent the player's position, they also show you the direction in which a player is looking. If one player changes something in the world, let's say it removes some material or adds new blocks to it, this is something that the other player will see in real time. By the way, the video will run a lot faster from now on, so you guys can see more of what's going on. There are three machines involved in what you see here. There are two machines running the rendering and the game uh, client, and then there is another machine that is acting as a server. But you would be surprised of how little processing it is required from this server. Actually, the amount of information that is going back and forth is very little. And this is because the entire world is generated on the clients. All the information you see in terrain, trees, everything like that, it never goes down the wire because this is known for both clients. The only thing that has to be transmitted from one point to another is what is actually changed by the players. And of course, the player position, where they are looking at, etc. But this is very little compared to everything that is actually happening on screen. Sometimes you will see there is a little bit of latency whenever a player modifies a block and this is because there is some buffering going on, like not every change is sent immediately. Sometimes some changes are put together into a single update and this is especially true if you are looking at something that is being changed in a distant point. So a lot of players may be changing stuff, let's say they are building a huge tower and you are few kilometers away from this tower so you would see the tower slowly building up but since there is so much information coming into this tower it would actually kill your client if we had to send all these updates so all these updates are somehow condensed they are combined into single updates it does add a little bit of latency but this latency is constant throughout the entire world depending on which type of application you build with this and what are the game mechanics, what rules uh, you have, how much you can trust the clients. You could have servers running on your home that are hosting hundreds of different players. But it really boils down to how much you can trust the clients, who are you inviting to play over. If you have some kind of a resource based economy, if you are tracking the virtual money, something like that, then yeah, there are other things you, you need to consider. But this really starts with servers and protocols that are very lightweight, efficient, and this is what I'm trying to build here. So this is it for now, I will just let you watch the rest of the video and there will be a new update soon. 